You have got to stop what you're doing and watch this entire video and pray that those who speak against you are as misinformed as this individual. People in this world that I hate, well, mostly humanity I hate, but specifically two people, my mother's husband and my ex-boss in my previous job. But we're going to have to up that list to three and add the Iowa dairy farmer. Um, the pure anger and rage that I feel when I hear his voice and I see his videos. And he speaks very calmly. Um, you can say with a lot of confidence, actually. But I can sense the darkness and the evilness, every word that he utters, and it makes me cringe. Um, he makes these videos brainwashing people. In today's day and age, that's easy to do. Um, showing the cows he oppresses, eating cud and enjoying life. Skips over him raping Skips over taking their babies away from them. Definitely skips over the slaughterhouse part. Never shows that. Um, he is the most disgusting, abhorrent, an atrocious person I've ever seen. When I saw this video, I got excited in my chest. I don't know if this was supposed to like scare me into like never making another video again or what exactly her intent was. But I tell you, when I saw that video, all I could see was a gold mine of opportunities to continue to educate or I guess she calls it brainwash. And also, I've never been more honored to be on a here's all the people I hate list, especially when it's someone like this. Now, there's going to be some education towards the latter part of this video. I'm going to refer to something called the Glass Walls Project. But before we get to that point, the biggest thing in her video that drives me nuts is her use of the R word. And I'm not going to repeat it because I don't want to get this video taken off Facebook. This absolutely floors me that somebody could see artificial insemination and compare it to that word. Shame on you. I've talked about this before. But artificial insemination, the act of getting a cow pregnant when they want to be pregnant, when they are in estrus, telling us that their body is biologically ready and willing and wanting to get pregnant, they compare AI to mm, that word. And I've talked about that before, how disgusting and just absolutely apprehensible making that analogy is. It just says a lot about the kind of individual who would make that comparison, right? They see everything through a perverted lens. We didn't make this a perverted act. You did. We do it because it's what's best for the cow. She has a twisted worldview and sees it for something that it's not. Artificial insemination is a good animal husbandry practice. It's a good steward. It's a good way to be a steward of these animals because we know that Holstein bulls are dangerous to cows, dangerous to farmers, dangerous to their surroundings around them. Artificial insemination is safer for the farmer, more importantly, safer for the cow, and it allows us to control the genetic input of the herd. We only breed the best to the best, making more efficient utilization of our resources, our land, our water, and the space around us. What this person has to ask themselves is this, if they're upset with me doing artificial insemination, if I just dropped a bull in this pen, one male, a bull is a male, for those of you who don't know, one male in this pen, and when Ruby here were to come into heat, meaning she's fertile and she wants to be pregnant, if that bull got Ruby pregnant, would you still be upset? Because all artificial insemination does is remove the bull and instead we do it. Ruby decided to lay back down. That's how comfortable our stalls are. Needed to readjust yourself a little bit there. You can just see the pure terror in her eyes. It's crazy. She also claims I've never shown the artificial insemination process. I've shown the whole thing. Feel free to go look through my videos. She also claims I've never shown calves being carried out of the calf barn. I've shown the whole thing. Feel free to go look through my videos. But there is one thing she's right that I have never ever shown and that is the slaughter of an animal. You know why I've never shown that? Because it never happens here. Slaughter does not happen on this farm. Also, Katie is doing her little moo whispers right now. Check this out. So Katie is waiting in line for this robot and when she gets impatient, do you hear that? When she gets impatient, she does those little soft mood whispers. It's really funny. So, why have I never shown slaughter? Because Facebook would take it down. It's the same reason you can't just go find a video of an open heart surgery here on Facebook. I mean, some of that content is a little uneasy for other people. Does that make it wrong? No. I'm going to put a link in the caption. It's referring to the Glass Walls Project 
by Temple Grandin. Have you ever heard the phrase, if only slaughterhouses had glass walls? That's what Temple Grandin tried to basically do. Obviously, in the physical realm, you're not going to go put a glass wall in a slaughterhouse. But what if you could be so transparent about the entire process that you basically did have glass walls? That's what Temple tried to do. That's what's going to be in the link in the caption. That's what all of you need to go watch because I'm not going to show that on my farm because it doesn't happen here. But the place that Temple shows is the exact same place. That's not, that's not the exact same place, but the place my cows go is identical to that place. I find it hilarious that this person says they can see the darkness in me. She probably says that about a lot of farmers. And what's great about what Temple Grandin did and what I'm trying to do is we're trying to bring the lies that these type of people tell about us out of the darkness into the light. And when we can put their lies in the light, truth will have its day. And the truth is, these animals produce food. One in milk, two in meat. I've been fully transparent about that. The truth is, these cows live a great life. The truth is, thanks to people like Temple Grandin, they also have a more humane death. That sounds callous, but animals are a resource, and we treat them with respect and dignity while they're here, and we treat them with respect and dignity when they're not. Oh man, Katie is gonna be ticked. That cow just cut in line. My final thought, honestly, if this person really wants to advance the cause of veganism, the best thing they could do would be to stop making videos, because when they make videos like this, like I said earlier, I get excited in my chest, and it makes me want to go make more videos and show more truth and show talk and educate more about what we do and why we do it and how great of an industry the dairy industry really is. So please keep making videos. So hopefully you all learned something. Thanks for being here.